good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Shimi Mukobani. I am the executive secretary to the executive mayor, uh, His Worship Sipo Khadeb. Uh, due to unfortunate sickness, he is unable to join us today. But then he had sent me his message uh, to the conference and he requested that uh, I convey it for him. Uh, can I have a disclaimer uh, that at no point I am actually responsible for speaking on behalf of the mayor and uh, I am doing it uh, purely because uh, I am the representative from his office. And what I shall be saying here, it is what he has sent to me to say, uh, go and uh, uh, be my voice uh, on what I would have said. So, Zweli, Ksasa, Ungati, Umachoro Ote, Ote Ushimi Ote, Umachoro Ote, so that uh, Machoro does not get uh, tangled in what I shall say that shall be coming from me. Because we always uh, sometimes get uh, uh, get, it, get carried away, uh, so I'm going to be reading uh, the address that uh, the executive mayor has sent me. Uh, Says good morning, ladies. Uh, good morning to the program uh, to the program director. Greetings to all the dignitaries, uh, speakers who will be representing different topics in the course of the summit. Uh, may I take this opportunity to welcome Dr. Dwayne Litoa Litoala. Greetings to Mr. Mube Nzilikata, Mr. Tabo Murobe, Mr. Rodney Tabani, Mr. Nati Makani, all members of the panel. Greetings to our host, Mr. Taka Tsolibenya. Mr. Taka Tsolibenya, apologies. We gather today to confront a critical challenge facing our community, the erosion of our African culture belief system and lingering wounds of the trauma, of the past traumas. We come together as agents of change, seeking to reclaim our heritage and heal our families. Our theme for this conference is reinforcing African belief system in our families healing our past traumas, taking responsibility and accountability as men. is a recognition that the scars, the scars of history still lingers, affecting our relationships, our identities, and our collective well-being. Program Director, we are pleased to be given this opportunity as a municipality, not only to share ideas with the audience, but to learn from the collective wisdom of the intellectuals who are assembled here. The municipality of Mfuleni is our terrain of struggle. The conference is providing affirmation that the quality of life of the, of the residents of the Val, especially the, contribu uh, the contribution of men to that quality is a matter of concern to the leaders of our community. We appreciate the concern of the leaders of our communities. We appreciate the, the acknowledgement that we are not alone as political leaders to transform our society for the good of all. As men, we acknowledge our role in perpetuating and resolving these traumas. We take responsibility for our action and commit to accountability. We seek to rediscover and reassert the value, the values of our ancestors, honoring the wisdom of our elderly and the resilience of our community. Over the next few hours, we'll engage in honest dialogue. We share our stories. We explore strategies for healing and growth. We'll delve into the inter intersections of culture, identity, masculinity and seek a path forward that honors our past while embracing our future. 
Let us approach the journey of humanity, courage, and an open heart. Let us work together to rebuild, restore, revitalize our families, our communities, our communities grounded in the richness of African culture belief system. Young men can use their development time to mold themselves into better men and discover a true sense of masculinity by focusing on areas such as awareness to understand the values, beliefs, and emotions of the recogn or to recognize our strength and weaknesses is paramount to an individual. The same applies to personal growth. It is important for us to pursue our passion, interests, and skills development to set goals and work towards achieving them. Those, these are some of the characteristics of self-introspection. We also need to build a healthy and positive relationships with others practicing respect, empathy, and effective communication. Program Director, as I analyze the theme of the session, I further recognize the need to, par to participate in community service, volunteer work, and social causes, developing empathy and connection to others. Our government has numerous programs that are also aimed at fostering social cohesion through cultural, sporting, heritage, and other developmental programs that are sponsored by the state. It is, critical, it is, it is crucial to recognize the responsibilities to the accountable for your action as an adult and as a man. Take responsibility for your action, acknowledging and learning from mistakes. We must learn resilience and learn to build coping uh, skills. Learning from failures and setback and develop perseverance, experience is the best teacher. As we share ideas on this critical theme, that the emphasis to take responsibility and accountability. I also wish to share some municipal programs with the leaders that are gathered here. Influen is embarking on fundamental journey to rejuvenate the economy, commencing with the reindustrialization re of our anchor manufacturing industries. The Department of Trade and Industry and competition, working together with Houghton Department of Economic Development, have partnered with Sidibeng District Municipality and Mfuleni to create a special, a special, uh, special economic zone, which is known as the VSEZ. Under the auspices of the SEZ, we are realizing and revit uh, reviving not only the steel industry, but also the rebirth of the Val 21 master plan. We will soon become home for, the, for a major producer of hydrogen energy that will feed the country. Furthermore, the Val River City project and the establishment of the Aerotropolis uh, cargo, passenger, cargo and passenger airport are gaining, are gaining grounds. Through these projects, we will create more than 12,000 permanent jobs uh, for the next few years. These are both short-term and long-term projects. Program Director, as I share these municipal plans with you, because of the knowledge that enhances a better culture and a sustainability of peace, cannot thrive under conditions of poverty. We also wish to appeal to the leaders here to support our drive to improve the revenue of the municipality, develop and the creation of jobs. Together with the provision of quality, municipal services will require a municipality to adopt a funded budget. We are currently rolling out smart meters to all households in Mfuleni. This includes townships, suburbs, and business areas. We would appreciate your support as we usher 
into a new era to rebuild the beautiful hall. I wish to welcome you all here today to thank and thank the organizers of the conference for inviting us to participate in this important event. We do hope that when we conclude our session today, we will all embrace authenticity and our individuality, rejecting societal pressures to conform to toxic masculinity norms. Program director, as we hope that my as we do hope that mindfulness and self-care will prevail, that we will prioritize physical, mental, and emotional well-being, recognizing that self-care is essential to personal growth. Our lessons from here will help us fight against gender-based violence and all other abuses that are perpetuated against the vulnerable members of the of our society, especially those acts committed by men. I will emerge from this session with a focus on these areas. Young men can develop a positive, inclusive, and empowering sense of masculinity, become better versions of ourselves, and making a positive impact into the world. Thank you for inviting us for the transformative journey. May our collective efforts bring healing, hope, and brighter future for all. Program Director, I would like to end this welcome note with a statement from an actor and author, Alex Cara, when he said, it takes more courage to reveal insecurities than to hide them, more strength to relate to people than to dominate them, more manhood to abide by thought, by thought out principle rather than blind reflex. Toughness is in the soul and spirit, not in the muscles and immature mind. I thank you for listening. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This was the message from the executive mayor. Thank you. Thank you.